We're here at Wantaw High School in Wantaw, Long Island, and we're interviewing Kathy Powell, who's a co-president of the Wantaw Boosters Club. And we're here at Wantaw High School at a dress rehearsal for sports night, which is going to take place this Friday, March 20th at 7 p.m. Is that right, Kathy? At 7 p.m., yes. Okay. So if you can, for our audience at WHLITV.com, can you tell everybody what this is all about and why you're here? The Sports uh, Booster Club is here to help support the um, sports night, which started 60 years ago when there was no sports for girls, no Title IX, no sports for girls. So it is a friendly competition. Um, we take our school colors and we have black and gold, and they're divided into those teams. Probably about 160, 180 girls here tonight. Um, and we have physical competitions such as volleyball, we have um, relay races, cage ball, and then they have things like you can hear now, cheering, spirit night, um, spirit um, dances, folk dances, they have t-shirt contests, they have a poster contest, so it encompasses a lot of different people in the school and a lot of different types of kids, um, athletes, non-athletes, artistic kids, uh, performing kids, there's a myriad of children in there who do lots of different things. Yeah, no, this is fantastic. And you're raising money through the sale of merchandise and baked goods and other type of items to raise money for the sports program. And it all culminates around sports night. You have the alumni involved as well. Is that right? Well, this year it's a special year. So we have about 100 alumni coming back. They were captains, overall captains. So they're coming back. Many of them still live in the district and are raising their families in the district. Um, so they're coming back for a special night. Uh, for the 60th year and the money that we do raise does go to um, all of the sports but also um, a lot of the money that we raise goes towards our scholarships for our seniors at the end of the year. Now I see a lot of these beautiful posters that were made by the participants. Can you describe what the posters are all about and what the projects were that the girls had to put together in order to compete? The um, black theme was um, books. So as you see, like their costumes inside some, they had the Hunger Games costume on, they have um, Harry Potter, and then the gold team was the internet. So you'll see Instagram, you'll see Google, you'll see Twitter. Um, so they had to base it around those themes and made them bright and all the same size. No, that's fantastic. Now, you're also, your co-president, you wear a lot of hats, you're co-president of the Boosters Club, for Nats for Wantor Middle School and High School. Now you're also part of the Wantor Mamas Group. Is that right? Can you talk about that and how that relates to you know what we're doing this week here? Well, Wantor Mamas is a Facebook page, and it basically it's also Papas too. We have a couple dads in there, um, and it encompasses the people in the community. And um, it's really for information or you know questions. I remember when I was doing my daughter's Sweet 16, I said, "Who's got a um, a photo booth for me?" And I had a gazillion. Um, people I could choose from. Or if someone said, someone's in need, this family had a house fire, this is where we're picking up donations, or we're selling this for this family. So it really is just a um, information site, um, a friendly site, you know, every now and then we'll put in some happy quotes or have a great day. And it's to keep everybody uh, in, involved with each other because some people work and they can't be here. You know, I can be co-booster president, Maureen Conklin's co-booster president, Maria Riley is our treasurer, and, and you know, very involved people. And still the people who were here and involved in school are still involved in the school now. And, um, Maureen, tell us, tell us what your involvement is and tell us how, what, what makes this such a wonderful event. Sports night? It's, it started because girls never had sports. So now they continue it and the kids go for probably two months a practice after practice after practice, and then they get to perform. And they all start out dreading it, and then they love it. And it's, it's really nice to see it come together and all their hard work pay off. So, you know, we just stand out here and support them and sell. And then I believe they make a monetary donation to a, um, a charity every year, the girls, or for ticket sales. So yeah, that, that's great. You know, they always give back, and that's what it's about.